Hack of the time. My time. You know, time time is time is money. Like time is a lot of things. Time is the first dimension. Just so we understand this. Time is the first dimension. And that's what the the um we're talking about here, different time scales because you're different vehicles moving at different rates. I think it's important to remember that, that these are different wavelengths, different size vehicles that are traveling, even though the wave itself looks the same, it looks the same size, it's the same, it's sort of the same, it's like, oh, how do I say the big semi with different components that are moving at different speeds. The wheels, right, the... The internal engine components are moving at a higher, you know, there, there's, how do I say this? The, the, the scale here is 7.45 to 8.05. Okay, so that's not quite 7.5, right? But if you take, all right, we'll just round it off to 7.5 to 8.0. Okay, well, just for the purposes of our, our diagram here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll notice everything about, or pretty much the majority of stuff having to do with the Schumer resonances is six or 6.6. .6. So the frequency separations is 6.6, .6, and it's a sextave, not an octave, but if you're familiar with music, you'll get the general understanding of, of the octave thing that I'm talking about. As the frequency goes higher, you have a different kind of ratio of frequencies that work, but overall, they're, they work together harmoniously um, at different, for different instruments in the orchestra. I think that's a good way to put it. I'm trying to give analogies of how, how to kind of picture this. All right. So... Frequency can only happen over time. Hertz is a cycle per second. Um, I don't think I have Mr. Uh, Hertz's information up there, but he was a, a German uh, gentleman, scientist, who came up with cycles per second. You know, like they, they name it after, after that dude. It existed beforehand, but now that it's got a name, like, all right, hey, I know, I know what a, a Hertz is, you know. All right, hold on. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, we're back. I'm back. Yay. <clears throat> All right. So the frequency um, is different parts of the vehicle. So you see this is mode one. Uh, and then mode two, F2. The scale is 13.2 uh, 13 up to 14.9. Okay. So 13.2... 1354, 1388, 14.22, 14.56, 14.90. Okay, that's F2, the yellow. Okay, and then you have F3, the red, uh, starts at 19.10. Okay, and the last one is 21. So 19.10, then 19.48, 19.8. Eight six, twenty point two four, uh, twenty point six two. Hello, I like when that doesn't happen. Twenty point six two, then twenty one point zero. Then over here, these are the big mammy jammies, the the um, the big m magnetic. Basically, these are magnetic frequencies, uh, starting at twenty four point five. 24.89, 25.26, 25.64, 26 26.0, and 26.4. Okay. So, uh, those are, are the frequencies of the um, Q factors. Q factors. All right. So, the Q factors, uh, that's basically... I'm sorry. Okay, I think I, I like that. All right. So the Q factors are its quality. Okay. 
so Q1, this is magnetics, Q1, starts at 4.7 and ends at 7.7, right? And these are uh, Pico Teslas, okay? These are in the Pico, Pico, Pico Tesla range. Okay, it measures this. The quality is measuring magnetic flux. So, uh, quality two. Okay, these are the um, uh, these are two magnetic induction coils. Okay, so uh, so it's measuring the size of the magnetism of the signal, and the magnetism is what hugs the earth basically it, it propagates as a wave along you know the surface of the planet basically bouncing you know against the surface of the planet so quality two is 14 point uh, i'm sorry four oh four point nine next one is 6.14 then 7.38 then 8.62 then 9.86 then 11.10 then you have over here quality three, the red, the 4.9, 6.76, 8.62, 4. Uh, I'm sorry, 10.48, 12. Ah, 1234, 12.234. Where's this line? 1234. All right. This line is 1234 here. Nothing hit 1234. However, all right. So this line here is. 1420 or 4 4 4.2 okay 1420 that's what this this point here is at 10 or right around 10 local time it hit here in the quality q3 14.2 okay uh this peak here that peak there is 1110 1111. I'm we'll just call that 1111, right? It isn't, but it's 1111 right there. So that's 1111. I'm going to call it that. So this one right here, that's somewhere between 9.86 and 1111. And that's just 9. It's 10. That's maybe around 10 right there. That's maybe around. Oh, come on. Whatever. It's the dark force is trying to get at me. Uh, that's 8.62, and that's 8 point, roughly around 8.62, all right, so that's 1420, that's, um, what's this line here, 8.62, that's roughly 8.62, 8.62, and this one here, 31, you don't often see this, the, this number here at 31, but when you do, these are big freaking waves. And, oh, God forbid, you should see one of these at 31 with it capped off at the top. And it's flat at the top. That means it was much bigger. They just can't measure it past. That's what that was. That was a much bigger wave, but they just couldn't, they couldn't catch it. <laughs> They're not set up to catch something bigger than that, which is a huge wave. I, I don't know how to put it any other way. I saw that. There's a few of them that were capped, and people said, I didn't know what that was, and I'm telling you, that's what that is when you see that, and the quality is it's a huge, or the frequency, or whatever, it's a huge effing wave. I'll just say that. It, the machine itself capped it off. That's, that's what I'm saying. All right. So, all right. So, then we have amplitudes. All right. We have amplitudes, which is everyone's favorite. All right, the thing everyone loves pointing out are the amplitudes. Oh my God, there's a spike, spike, spike in the um, amplitudes are. Uh, there I am. Still here. Oh my God, I threw everything around my desktop. What just happened? Okay. I will go over here now. This is fun. All right. Maybe more fun than you for you that for me than it is for you. All right, so amplitude. All right, it's back to amplitude. All right, so dependencies of the Schumann resonance amplitudes on local time. Local time is expressed in Tomsk summer daylight savings time DLV. There we go. It's plus UTV plus seven. All right. 
to. All right, so my timer is at 43 minutes. I'm going to end this maybe around 50 minutes, I think, and see what I got. All right. So, okay, so this is the amplitude from Tomsk. All right, so, um, all right. So you see the, uh, the chart. It went from, these are electron volts. Pico, pico electron volts. Okay, so that the pico is a negative, like, 0.1 to the negative 15th spaces. That's the, how, how small this is. The Earth, the Earth, the planet's magnetic field itself is stronger than, than this. So this isn't showing you the heartbeat. This is showing you closer to the breath of, of Gaia. And that is the frequencies, the breathing would be the magnetics. This is m more of the intake, I think. I don't know how to put it better, you know. The amplitude is like the intake of breath, and the uh, the um, the quality is the exhale. I I don't know. I think I, I I'm not sure, but that's maybe the analogy. Uh, anyway, I don't know how good that analogy is, but you understand what I'm saying. It's not the heartbeat of the planet. It's not heartbeat of Gaia. There's other things that can val validate and verify the heartbeat of Gaia. Okay. All right, so you see the dependencies here in the scale, 2.6, 474, 868, 862, 1056, 1250. All right, this is the amplitude 1, all right? And I'm going to... Hello, yay! <clears throat> I have this on the other browser. Okay, the resonance... Standing wave. All right. So. As I'm... Come on, man. I don't like it when you do that. Be good, sweetie, please. Be... Oh, yay. Thank you. Oh, yay. Oh, they don't play always together. The Brave. I like the Brave for some reasons, but I like... Uh... That's one of the things I love about Foxfire is I can have these tabs open on the top and I can see them, whereas the, the ones over on the other browser uh, I'm having trouble. All right. All right, so... I have here... Okay, there we go. Alright, but you get the point. Whatever, this is only this is about as perfect as it's going to get. Alright, so our standing waves here. Alright, so these are our modes. A, uh, of amplitude, the height, the tall. The tall is the amplitude. The standing height of the standing wave is amplitude. So uh, T here would be uh, T1. shows here T1 in the yellow. Right there, T1. Yeah, there we go. All right, so T1. Then that's T2. T1 is the white. Okay, that's amplitude 1. T2 is A2. That's the yellow. T3 is a red. Okay. And T4 is our green, which just so happens... All right, so I showed you that. Oh no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I so I don't. What you're planning on doing there, buddy? Um, uh, half a step ahead of you this time. All right, so I'm just putting this here. All right, I'm just putting that there. All right, so you can kind of see it and get a sense of that that what we're talking about with the modes. I know people focus, make a big deal about focusing on, uh, people make a big deal about focusing on the spikes, and uh, I, I keep saying, you know, big deal, you don't know what you're looking at. If you call it 
you know, the Schumann resonance, these are uh, spokes, uh, spikes of amplitude, okay? These are not the resonances which cause, which uh, resonance are harmonic, are the, essentially the harmonic waves that happen over time. Frequency only happens over time, cycles per second. So, in a spike of amplitude coming in, bang, bang, like a lightning strike, has not had a chance to establish a time pattern. I like it when I don't do that. <laughs> uh, so a lightning strike coming in has not had a time to establish a, a time pattern. Okay, I think that's important to understand that. And that's what the frequency is, and that's what basically the quality is showing you in um, on those charts. All right, so I'm, g I'm going to... Uh, uh, and <laughs> segue out with uh, a little house or a little dance music and thank you everyone for uh, being here for your comments and uh, this is the end of part one so there's, I still needed to get where I'm going on today's uh, Schumann resonance um, observations, observations on the human resonances. All right, so on that cheery note, thank you all for being here, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Namaste. Thank you.